right there guys I am known as the incense man over here in my store you can get a variety of stuff to make your house more nice air fresheners natural health and beauty products take a look inside have a look around and welcome to Deptford Market you know well actually I'm getting these wigs from Africa they are handmade so I sell a lot to our black community a lot of them goes because it's very cheap to compare if you do them here. Yeah. It's expensive and you have to sell for a cheaper rate for people to be able to buy them. Because I don't weigh anything, so every bowl's a pound, so I've got to buy <laughs> like substantial fruit and veg that goes in a bowl. Go to the market, have a look around the market, get back here for five, six, set up, sell. There you go. No, this is just like a pot, yes, just a pot. You can have it with the vegetables to go with that. About for £2.50. We have here lamb yasa, beef yasa. You can have this as a chicken and you can have it as a meat, a lamb, or you can have it as a fish. Okay? And this is gold was served with white rice. Okay? Since I've been starting doing this business, my business is open to everybody. When I first came in, I wasn't think any white man will eat my food. And believe it or not, I'm married to a white man. They like to decover in everything. And then that is what I really like about in England. You know, they just don't say, oh, I'm an English, I'm not going to eat that fish and chips or ham on a steak or things like that. English people like to try all stuff of food. And I really enjoy that. Make me to carry on do my business. And I'm happy on it. Hopefully, I'm going to get all the white people as well. Come back, follow me in High Street Market. Cheers. I'm Gerald. I sell burgers and hot dogs in Deptford Market. The family business I followed into. The same burger and the same sausage for 30, 35 years. Nice area. Sold out to her. Yeah. I do have some some people come in here and said I used to come in here with my mum when I was still at school. So people do remember me. There, there is a a little bit of a trend now of young studenty types in the area. Um, and they're generally quite good customers because they will buy stuff to make rather than live on uh, ready-made stuff. They will make from scratch. So I think we went for a phase, possibly 80s, mid-80s, where everybody, all they wanted was processed food, really. But I think the trend's drifting away a little bit now. Whether that's seeing all these good uh, TV programs where people are cooking things. So uh, that's, a, that's a good good for the greengrocer. They talk about gentrifying debt, for, but it's happening all over London. You can't stop it. If people are willing to pay the money, the price of property goes up. I've been here from uh couple of decades uh, in Deptford High Street. I have worked uh, my way up because I started with a market stall and uh, I done when uh, everything was running very good. I was making good money. I had a good reference. Bank was easy to lend money and managed to buy one or two businesses. Started here I have targets uh, certain communities to invite them to come to my business to stop their country products here um, in order for me to be different than uh, most shopkeepers or any high street stores. So I had a good profit margin on the product but nobody had and um, I done good on this and I think that make me different from different, pe different shopkeepers. I stopped certain people from southern side of Africa as well as uh, East Africa Everybody sell, but I have certain items like nobody had. Most people all used to live here, they are moved out. New faces emerge here and it's not the same trade. So Isla Ray, which is number 37 Deptford High Street, was a pub 
um, a while back, and then it was a pawnbroker's, and then a Subway franchise, which they were only trading for about a year and a half, and then they weren't trading so for a year and a half, so it was just an empty shop with newspaper up in the windows. And I think it was a lot of commitment, so no one really wanted it, but I desperately wanted to open a cafe in Deptford, um, so took it all on. Uh, but it had to be Deptford, because Deptford, uh, just when I vi first visited, I instantly fell in love with it. It's so diverse and arty, and there's a real sense of community, and it's still got a lot of character, a lot of unusual things going on, and everyone always goes only in Deptford. So yeah, and Isla Ray basically, I think it links in with the community because we are quite casual business. You know, we have exhibition space for local artists. We have, we host live music nights. So again, local artists can come and basically showcase their work. And we are also a space for workshops and things like that. Local people can hold charity events. Um, we have sewing workshops sometimes, yoga. And yeah, we're just welcoming to anyone and everyone. And we do get a real diverse crowd in of all ages. And yeah, it's nice. We opened this space back in December uh, 2017. Um, it's called Deptford Does Art and it originated as a project my wife started when she used to manage the Duke Pub on Creek Road and exhibited local artists there. Other venues got involved and um, the project became yeah, an, an art pop-up project around Deptford. So we exhibited in various places, non-gallery spaces like the Deptford Cinema, various pubs and uh, the Big Red Bus next to the Bird's Nest pub. Um, and it went from strength to strength. So the council refurbished this building. Um, it had been closed for 10 years, uh, was empty uh, and not, not in use. So they did a call out for business proposals that had community and culture at their heart. And uh, we put a submission in and eventually got through to be selected. So that's how we started. Primarily we're about art. We have a gallery space downstairs and we have a cafe and bar which supports the gallery space financially but also acts as a, a social area. It's all local art so we're here to support and showcase local artists so I would say that's a key way in which we support the local community.